Okay, um, there's electronics, but first let's get to the PPE. That's right. We get this PPE for our team and also for other people in the near New York community who might want it. Uh, some people have wanted face shields that can be uh, dunked in bleach, basically. Um, these are, this is not like, you know, a face shield that will protect you from like rocks. It's, it's a face shield to protect you from, um, you know, humans breathing or spitting or... Yeah. Singing or whatever. I'll, I'll tell you a good use for this. Let's say if you work in an environment where maybe you're exposed to the public. Retail, um, customers. Yeah, you may want a face shield like this because you'll uh, position it up and down as needed. And then you'll also, of course, have a mask and gloves and all the smart Modeled by Dana. sanitizing things that you do. Uh, I personally wear ones like this when I am bleaching Adafruit at night. So one of the things that we decided to do is make sure we keep our shared restroom uh, game really, really sparkling clean. And by that, I mean nuke it with bleach. And uh, one of the things I try to avoid is getting bleach in my eyes or splashed up on my face. And so one of the things I like to do is wear something like this. And, you know, this is Adafruit tested, Adafruit approved, and they're only like 10 bucks. Yeah. Well, I thought these, these are covered at the top, too, which is, some people have asked to make sure that there's full, yeah. full coverage. Okay. Um, and then there's more lightweight ones. This is a simple one. Uh, I will say I tried this on, and even though it was much lighter and more comfortable because it, it has like a nice wide band, not good for people with glasses. Uh, but yeah. if you're not, if you don't wear glasses, this one is uh, much lighter and has a nice comfortable yeah. band. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say this for the this one. Let's say if you have a hoodie and you're commuting, um, and you want to continue to wear your mask and gloves and everything, but you're on like a subway, uh, this is a nice thing to wear underneath too because it's it's basically a headband with a you know, face shield on it. So anyways, yeah, nice and clear. I, I like this one too when I'm doing some, some minor commuting. Okay. Yep. Next up. Um, another style. These are interesting. So you asked for me to pick these up. They're yeah. face shields that like come with little glasses attachments. Um, you don't, you can actually attach them to your normal glasses too, but I actually kind of thought these were interesting. If you can't wear a headband for some reason, um, these mount onto the face, maybe because you have like some headgear on or something. Yep. Um, so we picked up a couple of these as well, also modeled by Dano. Thank you. Yeah. I see like dentists uh, wear these. Yeah, and again, um, there's only so many things we know and there's only so many things we can do at this time. This is one of them. Okay. So um, we have them and we want to make sure people in New York, of course, get them. And then these will be opened up for anyone to order in the U.S. Uh, pretty soon. Okay. Next up, electronics. We actually got these a while ago, but finally uh, have had the time to put them in stock. This is the M5 Stack Atom, and we actually have some in stock, so you can pick some up now. It's not even coming soon. This is a um, little ESP32 core board with, it's got a USB-C for power and debugging, so it's got a USB serial converter. I think it has the ESP32 Pico, so it's got like built-in flash. It's very, very small. It's got uh, five by five RGB LEDs at the top. I don't know if they're a dot star or NeoPixel, but they're little RGB LEDs. Um, there's a button on the side, there's a user button, and there's also um, a PH, uh, JST PH port, probably for, I think, I squared C. Yeah, so if you want to connect it to Stemma or Stemma QT, we have an adapter cable, plug it in, you got a little Wi-Fi board with a little display. On it, I will say it doesn't have a battery. Some people have been confused. There's no battery inside of it, like the other M5 stacks. Um, that's why it's so small and inexpensive. Uh, so you're supposed to keep it powered over either the Stemma connector if you want to power it that way, or uh, from USB-C, which is the best way to power it. All right, and good news. Um, we have a giant amount of non-contact thermometers. Uh, we work with the company, get these here really fast. We will have enough just about for everybody. Um, and battle tested here. Um, with Look, Adafruit. young children. Cute kids like to use these, but also... When you're um, wearing your lace dress. <laughs> yeah, so uh, why don't you yeah, uh, grab that, and then why don't you do my temperature right now. Okay. So one of the neat things about this is um, the LEDs shine through. You'll be able to see this sort of, but yeah, also if you back it up... Yeah, no, that, oh, oh. Let's, uh, let's do this again. So, uh, yeah, do your head, and then uh, go underneath, and so you can see it there. And so it shines through. So you're 98.4. That's good. Um, this is going to be something in all of our lives um, that we're all going to have to get used to. And we do this every day for every Adafruit team member coming into the building. Um, team members had their thermometers delivered to them for home. 98.6. Perfect. And yeah, 98.6. 
Um, one of the things I like about these is it's silent, so you don't get annoyed by beep all day. It has a haptic, so when when I take Lady Eda's temperature, um, it vibrates and it'll. So one of the things that's good about that is you can you know you don't have to get too close. You can be far away. It's a it's a non-contact thermometer. Hi. So ninety eight point six as well. Great. And uh, it's ergonomic. It looks like something Apple would make. And, um, Very Apple inspired. Yeah, we have those. Okay. Uh, that'll be. They'll in, be in like a day or two. Yeah, sign up right now. They're gonna go fast. We got a bunch, but um, this is just round one of all the types of things we know businesses and companies are gonna need to be as smart and safe as they reopen. Okay, and the star of the show tonight, besides uh, all the heroes out there, and also our team, and all of you in the community, and our Lady Ada is the TNC four one. Yay! So this is the latest update from. PJRC, uh, Robin and Paul have released a new Teensy. Uh, the Teensy 4 was very popular. Uh, so people maybe wanted more pins. They wanted something the same size as like the Teensy 3.6. So the 4.1 does that. It's a, it's a nice big upgrade. It's got that same uh, IMX RT1062 600 megahertz processor with like, it's like 4 megabytes of flash and like a megabyte of RAM or something bonkers like that. Um, this one has USB host control as well so that's cool so if you'd like to have both usb client for debug and uh, programming and then usb host you can use paul's usb host stack to connect to like you know hubs or keyboards or mice or um you know nearly any usb device you'd like um there's also an sdio sd card slot at the top already soldered and on the bottom there's two spots that you can add additional memory you can add um, 8 pin SOIC PS RAM, or you can add um, 8 megabyte, uh, sorry, 8 pin SOIC QSPY flash. So if you'd like to, there's some QSPY flash that's required to, you know, um, store the chip information, I think, uh, and that's on the front. Um, but there's an additional one if you'd like to have like external storage that you use for, you know, your file system or something. Um, and of course, a ton more GPIO pins. So you know, it extends out um, the uh, the shape to the 3.6 size. So you have like, looks like almost 20 pins per side. And then um, there's even uh, more contacts on the bottom. So uh, we have a shipment coming in. I think it'll be here tomorrow. Yeah. So if you would like uh, to get some of these. Sign up to get notified. Sign and, up to get notified. And we're shipping. And we'll ship them out to you tomorrow or the next day. Okay. Thank you.